Hello and welcome to Affordable Backyard University, where you will confidently learn how to purchase backyard home improvements the right way. Join us this week as we travel to one of the fastest growing cities in America, Frisco, Texas, where we're going to take a look at how we took this and turned it into this. And all of that's next on Affordable Backyard Construction University. Hey, before we get started, could I ask you a favor? Hey, we love you, but all we ask is that you like us. So click the like button if you like what you see coming up. Also, if you'd like to be on the inside track, if you'll click subscribe, then every week you'll automatically get the newest video. So one last thing, if there's a topic you'd like to see covered, having to do with backyard projects like what we feature, hey, put it in the comments and we'll try to get to it. Today's is the result of a comment. Now this family, they had a small covered back porch, which wasn't enough for them and their kids to play on. So they wanted a expanded playing area that could be in the shade. So that's what this is about. A pergola on top of new concrete. So after some design and budgetary meetings, we decided to do a oh, but plus or minus 250 square foot deck and a 160 square foot pergola. So 10 by 16 and 10 by 25 were the respective sizes. So the next thing is this is a standalone unit. In other words, it's going to have four posts and that Simpson post base that you see bolted to that concrete is what's going to hold those posts steady at the ground. One other thing I should note is you'll notice that that base sits about an inch off of the ground. That way it keeps the end of that post out of the wet. This shot shows a couple of different things. First, a lot of people wonder how the cities uh, determine smoothness and level of concrete. This shows the inspector at work. Next, you can see how that post, that six inch by six inch post goes down into that Simpson bracket and then it's hidden by that molding. This also has an optional decorative bottom to the post that a lot of people like. Here is a good shot of the finished structure and you can see how it, we centered it in the concrete so they've got room on either end for cooking and for sitting out or whatever they want to do. Okay, so let's talk about the bones of this unit. Like I said, it's a standalone, which means it has four posts. It is not attached to the house. Each of those posts is in the Simpson bracket, like we showed you earlier. And like I said, they are six inch by six inch posts. They are holding up two inch by 10 inch beams, which in tune hold up the two by six joists, which hold up the two by two shade boards. And then obviously there's decorative items uh, that hide the bolts and that just uh, make the bottom of those posts look a little fancier. Hey guys, we are super excited to announce our new ebook, Affordable Backyard Construction Backyard Secrets. It's all the stuff most contractors wouldn't want you to know, and it's available free if you go to affordablebackyardconstruction.com. If you wait till the end of this message, or if you look down in the description, you'll find a link. Thanks a lot and hope you enjoy it. Well, there you have it. And this is one happy family. A little bit of planning, budgeting, using the right materials, and without spending a ton, ton of money, look what you could have. Thanks again for following along with us, and we'll see you next week on Affordable Backyard University. Pick a topic, click on it, and get started.